What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a hoot and a holler, a classic banger video. Hope you guys do enjoy this one, drop a like if you do, and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, what the hell are you guys waiting on, links at the top of the description, do that shit right now, and also... I need your guys' opinion on an upcoming potential merch piece. Now listen, look on the screen right now. Now, if you've ever seen the OnlyFans logo, this might look familiar. Let me know what your thoughts on um, are bo on both of these images. Jeez, I can't talk right now. I just took a fat dab of a strain called Mandarin Cookies. It's, it's awesome. It's wonderful. I'm feeling really good right now, and I got mad munchies, so I gotta go eat some shit after this. But, either way, take a look at these right now on the screen. And let me know in the comments what you think of these shirts. Do you like them? Do you uh, find them funny? Would you cop them? Yada, yada. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I got to say. Merch link is also in the description. Go to goblin.merchforall.com and check out the rest of the merch that we've got. We've got a bunch of stuff live right now. A bunch of merch you're going to love. It's all dope. Go check it out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's dive right into it. So, this took place a long time ago, right? This took place way back in high school. And at this point, right... This is when I was still kicking it with Ashton, and, you know, it makes me kind of sad to say, this is probably one of the last Ashton stories I have left, right? Uh, I, I had a lot, so many fun times with the kid, but this is, I'd say, probably in the last, oh man, I don't know, maybe off top I could think maybe like five or six, you know? Five, I'd say? if even, that I that I really have left to share uh, about my time I spent with him. And this is one of my favorites. This was just a blast of a day. So, I ended up hitting him up, and it was your average evening. It was a Friday night. I remember it was a weekend, because we went to a carnival that was only open on weekends. But either way, I digress. I hit him up, and I ask what he's doing. And of course, he's like, yo, come through. Let's get fucked up. You should come pick me up. So I'm like, bet, say less. I drive over to his house, and it, that was the pretty typical procedure. I go to his house, I'd pick him up, and we'd either chill at his house for a little bit, or we would cruise around, you know? Uh, we'd cruise around and try to find somewhere to go, because typically when we'd link up, we wouldn't always have, like, an immediate destination or plan, unless maybe he had a serve, or we were lucky and we had somewhere we had to go immediately that was going to be dope, right? But, either way... I drive over to his house, and I get there, and he comes out to my car, and he daps me up. He's like, what's good, bro? How you been? And it had been a couple of days since we'd hung out at this point. So we were catching up a little bit, right? And I'm chatting with him, and he's like, oh, dude, I just ranked up in CS and all this shit. I remember he, he, he all night he was talking about CS. I don't know why. I didn't understand why at first. But then I, I looked at his eyes, and I realized he was tripping fucking sack, bro. I realized this kid was tripping balls, bro. And I was like, holy shit, dude, like you're fucked up, aren't you? And he's like, yeah, dude, I just got some new tabs in. You should try one. And I was like, for sure. But first, we got to figure out where we're going to go. And he's like, yeah, good point. So I pull off from his house. You know, we decide not to hang out at his house. And we're cruising around a little bit. And, you know, I'm smoking a blunt as we drive. Ashton was on probation the entire time I knew him. And he could only smoke maybe once a month. So he couldn't smack the blunt. But he had his window down. He was just chilling, enjoying the ride. You know, he was on aunts playing some music. He had a fire playlist, dude. He actually, um, all the way back in, like, early like 2016 this kid was like he, he like put me on to uzi before he ever dropped an album i was like holy shit dude how do you know who this guy is he was he actually had a very like he he knew a lot he put me on to a lot of like rappers before they got big you know it was actually it was kind of cool he put me on to a lot of music but either way so we're chilling we're cruising down he was on aux playing probably some fire shit i don't know and uh, we're smoking a blunt for a little bit and he's just, he's tripping so fucking hard. He keeps talking to me, and he's telling me about, like, CS plays he made today. I remember the whole time, he's just, like, describing, like, Counter-Strike plays he made. And I'm like, bro, like, that's crazy, but, like, fuck, bro. We've been talking about this for, like, 25 minutes, right? I'm trying to do some shit. So I'm trying to think of what to do, and we're cruising around. And on our little drive, we pass the mall, and we see the carnival, right? I've mentioned this carnival in a few really old videos of mine. I used to get drunk and go to this carnival in my sophomore year with friends. But I didn't really go to it too often until we passed it on this day. I drove past it, and I was like, yo, what if we fucking went to that carnival over there? 
And I pull a little closer so we can look at it. And we can look at what rides they got set up. And, bro, it's lit. They got that big-ass Pharaoh swing ride where you hop in that bitch and it swings around. You know, they got that that little thing where you sit in the seat and it's, you know, there's, like, the shoulder harness and it spins a bunch. Bro, they had the big-ass slide. They had a bunch of carny games. Bro, they had everything. I was looking at, like, from afar, of course. But I was looking at it I was just like, dude... This looks really lit. Like, we should go do this. But obviously, we had to figure out a plan. We had to figure out what to do. So we're chilling, and we're par- we park up in my car, right? And I was done smoking. I was nice and baked. And I'm on Snapchat, and I'm hitting people up. And I noticed that I had a message from Ashley, right? Now, I've used Ashley's name for a lot of girls. But listen, this is an Ashley that's a consistent character, right? Ashley hits me up, and she's like, hey... What are you up to, right? And I missed her message at the time. So I replied to her and I'm like, yo, what are you doing right now? She replies pretty quick. She's like, absolutely fucking nothing. Like, what are you up to? I'm like, you want to hang out with me and Ashton? She's like, yeah, say less for sure. You guys can come over if you want. I'm like, bet. Let's go. I tell Ashton, I'm like, yo, we can go to Ashley's house right now. Uh, Let's go to Ashley's house first. And then I'll trip once we get there, right? Because, like, then we'll have, like, like, someone who's not tripping with us, right? He was like, bet, for sure. So we zoom our asses over to Ashley's house. I'm talking. We fly over, right? We get there. And, you know, we we get to Ashley's house eventually. And Ashley, she lived in a very nice part of town. She she had a very nice house, a very nice house, right? Like, I'm talking, like, it was a beautiful home. It was a beautiful home, right? So we get to Ashley's house. We pull in the driveway. We're chilling. And we go inside. And we, you know, I dap her up. I say, what's good, Ashley? How you been living? You know, Ashley says hello. He daps her up. We're chilling good. And we kind of explain our situation. We're like, listen, yo, we're trying to go to this carnival uh, but I'm, I want to trip, so I can't really whip my car, you know, like, what do you, would you be able, like, can I leave my car here or some shit, you know, would you mind, and she's like, yeah, I don't really care, I don't think my parents are mind either, uh, cause, listen, Ashley, I was cool with her parents at this point, like, I'd been friends with this girl for a long time, I was cool with her parents, they, like, knew who I was on a first name basis, you know, they, and they knew I smoked weed with their daughter, so it was completely fine, it was a-okay at this point, right, but either way, you know, I, I was like, would your parents care if I left my car in the driveway? And she was like, no, they, they probably wouldn't give a shit. I'm like, bet. Let's fucking go, boys, right? We're lit. So we're chilling, and Ashton hands me a tab. He's like, bro, I got you. Let me give you one. And he always had his loadout on him. This kid, listen, no matter, he had certain days where, like, he wouldn't be serving, right? Like, he'd just pick, like, a day and just take it off, you know, where we just, like, get fucked up and do drugs. Uh, and this seemed to be that day. He didn't have any serves to go to, but he still had a lot of drugs on him, bro. He offered Ashley a tab, and I was like, bro, she's our driver he's like oh fuck you're right he's like well i could drive and i'm like dude ashton you can't drive bro like when i gave this kid the wheel one time he backed my car into a fucking a beaut i think it was a mercedes dude in a pizza joint parking lot it was fucked it was terrible i I didn't let him drive much after that but either way so i i pop this tab and we hop into ashley's car and we hit the road and we're going to this carnival and she lived maybe 15 minutes away not very far And we get to this carnival, and, you know, my tab at this point was down the hatch, but I still wasn't tripping. So we get there, and I've got a little bit of cash on me, right? And this carnival, it was tax. It cost tickets, right? Ashley had a little bit of money, uh, and Ashton, of course, he had his money. Listen, Ashton was balling, dude. This kid kid had so much fucking cash on him at all times. Low-key, this man was a, a walking stain, actually, back in high school. This guy would, like, show up to school with, like, a grand on him. Like, it would be kind of fucked up, but... Either way, so we go to this carnival and we get there and we have to buy these tickets. And to get on each of these rides, it costs like a million fucking tickets, right? Like, th- like the for example, the Pharaoh ride, I-, I think it was something like, like fucking, I don't know, like five bucks or some shit. And every ticket was a dollar, right? So Ashton, listen, him being the tripping balls cool guy he is, I only had 20 bucks on me. Ashley only had 20 bucks. We each bought 20 bucks worth. Ashton being the cool homie, he bought us all extra tickets. He was like, bro, we're finna be here a while. So he bought us extra tickets. I was like, my man, you're a beast, right? Let's go. So he cops us some extra ticket, being a cool guy, uh, pay, you know, just being a, being a beast. You know, I really appreciated that. He, he was always on that kind of shit, dude. He'd always just be just balling for a good reason, you know? But either way, we've got these 40 fucking tickets now. We've got mad tickets. So... We're walking around and we're trying to figure out what to do. And we hop on our first ride. 
and we decide to get on the big wheel thingy that spins. I don't I don't know how else to, I don't know what the fuck it's called, bro. It's a uh, like, like, it's got the shoulder harness, you sit down in it, there's like four seats per th- section of it, and it's like a, like a, like there's three sections, and it just goes in the air and spins, you know? Uh, you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about, probably. If not, I don't know what it's called, bro. Do some Googling. I don't know. I probably should have been the one to do some Googling, but uh, who gives a fuck? So, either way, we get on this ride, and we're feeling great. I'm lit. I'm having a good time. Ashton is just screaming the whole time. Ashley's just screaming the whole time. I'm busting, and I'm just so excited for the acid to kick in. And we finished this ride, and acid still hadn't kicked in, but this ride was only maybe five minutes, and the line wasn't very long either. The line was maybe ten minutes. Uh, do you guys hear that airplane going past? My- Bro, the feds are on me. <laughs> the jakes are on me. Okay, either way, so... Back on topic here. We get off this ride, and I decide, yo, let's go play some fucking carny games, right? And we go, and we play some games, right? After we get off this first ride, we walk over to the game section, and they have the one thing where you can win a fish. They have the one thing where you can win, like, you know, you, uh, you throw the ring, and if it lands on the, like, the, like, the bottle, like, you can win a fish, right? So we, we go to that fucking game, right? And I walk up to that shit, and it's it's a, a three-ticket buy-in. And I was like, that's suspiciously low. This is probably a scam. And Ashton's next to me, and he's like, bro, we should fucking, we should try this shit. And after, I, I remember this so vividly, guys. After I trade in my ticket, right, I give the tickets to the guy, and he hands me my rings. And I just feel the tingling in my body, like, of the acid hitting. And I just, I I remember literally starting to come up as soon as this game started. And I was just like, oh, fuck. Here we go, boys. I remember looking over to Ashley, and I just started laughing, bro. She looks at me, and she just starts dying. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? And I was like, I'm fucked up. Like, (laughs) like it just hit me. So she starts laughing watching me. She's like, hit this shit, right? Go for this shit. And I throw the first one. I don't even hit the bottles. Ashton is whipping these shit he literally i swear to god he's throwing them like frisbees like i don't really think he even like i think he kind of forgot that he was aiming for the bottles with the way this motherfucker was throwing them bro he was chucking them like the guy got in the corner like the guy like the carny dude got in the fucking corner behind the um behind the fucking like thing and shit because dude was just whipping these fucking hooks and i'm i look over i'm like ashton dude like you gotta throw a little lighter than that he's like fuck dude you're right so he buys another three and wastes those two before i even threw my second one he'd already wasted six right it was it was three tickets for three chances right so i throw my second one and i actually hit it I actually fucking nail it, boys. I remember I killed it, and it was just as I was coming up, and I got so hype. It was such a crazy way to start the trip, and I got so fucking hype, right? And I won a fucking fish, dude. I was lit. So I I get this fish, right? And... I'm, I, at this point, I'm starting to trip, right? Like, once, it, it happened really fast. I came up really hard. This was some amazing acid, right? But I was really starting to get to visuals and trip a little bit. And the dude hands me a fish, right? They're just these tiny little fucking, I don't know, I think it was a goldfish. I don't know, bro. It was, it was like a, no, it wasn't a goldfish. It was like a, it was one of those weird, like, have you seen those fish that glow? Like, they sell them, I think they sell them at, like, fucking PetSmart and shit. Like, a glow fish is what they're called. They're really ghetto. I Listen, it was one of those, okay? It was one of those. Uh, so I get this fish, right? And he just hands me one of them. He, let me, he just fucking hands me one. But I'm like, bet, this is busting. He hands me this fish. And I remember I'm just walking around the carnival, and I start tripping balls. And once I start tripping, I'm talking to Ash, and I'm like, bro, like, what are we, like, what are we going to do with this fish, bro? And he's like, well, we're going to raise it. And I'm like, dude, but, like, what are we going to do with it right now? Like, we can't really take, like, what, like, what are we going to do with this fish, right, so we're kind of tweaking, and we're, like, we're sitting there, and we're just trying to discuss it, and eventually, I just kind of forget about the fish being a concern, and I'm just walking around with the fish, right, I'm just walking around with the fish, sorry about that, someone, like, rang my doorbell, so, like, I had to stop mid-sentence and go get up, but, uh, okay, either way, we're walking around with this fucking fish, dude, eventually, we forget that the fish is a fucking problem, Right? I, I literally had to smack my pause button right just out of nowhere right there, by the way. It was kind of fucked. Sorry about that. But back on topic. So we, we kind of forget about the fish, and we're about to get on this ride, and we're about to get on the fucking pharaoh ride, right? We didn't make it very far into this carnival, boys. We're about to get on the fucking pharaoh ride. 
and as we're getting on, right, Ashley's like, wait, like, you can't take, like, you can't take the fish on this. I'm like, why not? She's like, it's it's going to fucking die. It's going to get all shaken up and shit. I'm like, bro, it's not even the spinny one. And Ashley's like, dude, chill out. It's not even the spinny one. It's, it's going to be fine, right? So we get on the fucking pharaoh ride with this little glow fish that we just won. And we were trying to talk about a name. We were all sitting there and we're like, bro, what the fuck are we going to call this fish, dude? And Ashton throwing out some names. I don't remember what the fuck we even settled on, bro. The fit, listen, the fish didn't make it, okay? The, not, I mean, through the ride, yeah, but not through the, like, it, I don't know what, I don't, listen, we didn't have the fish for long, okay? We'll get to that. But either way, so we're sitting on this pharaoh ride. And we pay our tickets, and it's fucking, I it, I remember it being taxed. It was like, I think it was like five bucks to get on this fucking ride, dude. It was fucked up, bro. The, like, they just suck your money up so quick on, on these, these carnivals. So we're sitting on this ride, and it starts up. And there's a lot of people on it. And we are bussing, bro. We're tripping balls, right? We are fucked up up at this point the acid hits me fully and it's now a full body and visual experience i remember just the visuals being so intense because there were so many tracers from all of the lights of the carnival moving as the the pharaoh thing swung and i was just looking and i remember my vision was so crazy because everything was just just pulsing and everything was was moving and looked like everything was alive but the colors were all smeared it looked like someone took a color palette and just threw it as fast as they could at a canvas and that's what my vision was the whole time on this it was really amazing actually one of the probably one of the coolest trip experiences uh visually that i can remember just going on this ride and seeing all these neon carnival lights just in such a blur as the, as the pharaoh thing was going so quick so I'm so captivated by this that I'm not even, like, yelling, bro. I'm not even paying attention. And I I let go of the fish. And I let go of the fish. And we're on the pharaoh, and we drop him. And he's on the ground, and he's rolling around. He slides all the way to the other end, right? He slides all the way to the other end. So Ashton notices the fish, and he, like, dives for it, and luckily he grabs it, but at this point, our little glowfish is fucking twacked, bro. Our little glowfish just got knocked, the shit knocked out of him, bro. I'm talking, we're going fast as hell on this feral ride, and this little motherfucker just got fucked up, absolutely annihilated, right? So, we're like, holy shit, and Ashton picks up this little glowfish, and I'm looking over, and I'm like, bro, like... Is this motherfucker okay? <laughs> like, like, is this is this little dude all right? And he's like, he's like, yeah, it looks okay. And you know, I, I grab the fish back and I'm holding him and I'm tripping balls, bro. So I'm trying to inspect this fish, but the fucking the, the surroundings are not allowing me to inspect the fish, bro. I can't look at it. So I remember I just handed it to Ashley. I'm like, Ashley, is the fish okay? Like, please tell me. So I hand it to her and she's like, yeah, I think he's alive. He's swimming around and stuff. I think. I don't know, you know, because the the water's, dude. Listen. The fish probably died later that night, but after this ride, we got off, right? It slowed down, and we hop off the ride, and we ended up just giving the fish to a little kid, right? We walked back past the, like, fish game, and I remember I was walking, Ashley had the fish, and we're walking past, and there's this little kid who, like, didn't win the game, and Ashley just, like, hands him the fucking fish, and I look at her, and I don't, I, listen, neither of us really gave a fuck, me and Ashley, because we, we had nowhere to put this fish, bro, realistically, like, we probably would have had to just dump him, so, you know, I mean, at least we gave it to some little kid, you know, but she just kind of handed it off, and I was like, hey, respect for that, you know, that was kind of cool of you, you know, but she, she hands it to the little kid, gives it to him, you know, the little kid's like, oh, thank you, you know, the mom's like, say thank you, you know, and we fucking, we keep walking, dude, and Ashley, the whole time, she had a cart, she was smacking that, you know, she was getting nice and baked, she was chilling out, and this was in the early days of carts, too, or at least what I consider the early days of carts in Illinois, and in my day of smoking as well, right, um, this was back in 2016, and back then, there weren't even a quarter of the amount of fake carts on the market, uh, the street market, as there is in this state now, not even probably 10 to 20 percent of the amount, you know, it wasn't as huge of a thing back then, you know, at least from my friend group, and my plugs, but back on topic. So we're chilling out and Ashley decides to go get some food. Ash and I aren't hungry. So we're like, fuck it, bro. 
Let's just get back on the ride, right? Let's get back on the fucking Pharaoh shit. That was crazy. So we got back on the Pharaoh. We ride it again. Once again, visuals amazing. I'm feeling a full body high. I'm just, I'm seeing these colors smear. And it really does just look like a mixed color palette. Almost like a tie-dye shirt that was glowing. It, it was just so, so crazy. And getting off the ride, it took my, it took me a minute for my vision to kind of go back to normal. And those tracers to kind of smoothen out, you know? Like I really had to focus on the handlebar towards Towards the end of the ride to kind of get my vision together so I could actually get up and walk off the ride. But eventually, we get on the spinny ride. The one that we rode in the beginning. The one that I can never describe properly. We get on that. And Ashley, you know, we, we figure we're going to, you know, we'll find her later. She went to get some food. We'll shoot her a text or some shit, bro. We'll, we'll find her later, right? But we're riding rides. The boys are riding rides. You know what I'm saying? So... We head over to the fucking triple spinny thingy, dude, and we hop on the spinny thingy, and at this point, I am just, I'm feeling amazing, I'm talking to Ash, and I'm like, bro, like, th- like this is some amazing acid, and I'm like, I'm asking him, I'm like, wait, like, is this from a new guy, or like, where'd you get this, and he's like, no, dude, just my same guy told me this was some, you know, some good shit, and I was like, bro, this is fucking amazing, <laughs> like, these visuals are so cool, and granted, was it probably the carnival, yeah, maybe, but, you know, we, we were just vibing, we were just having a great fucking night, you know, I don't, I don't remember a lot of the conversations we had, because, you know, it was a very long time ago at this point, but I just remember we were just having a great fucking time, but we get on this ride, and this is where things go south, we get on this ride, And we sit down on it. And this ride was expensive as hell. And at this point, we're running kind of low on money, right? We'd done some stuff. Uh, We had less than 20 bucks each left. And we're riding this ride. And we just get so lost in it. And it stops. And I don't really know what came over us, but we were, like, really into our conversation. And the dude was telling us to get off. The, The operator of the ride, everyone got off the ride, and we didn't. We sat there and we were just chilling and we thought he was just going to start the ride again. We were like, oh, he's just going to be chill about it. Like we just sit on the ride and like he'll just be cool, you know, like, well, he'll just start the fucking ride again. So we sat there and he told us to got off and we just ignored him. Like we were just like, you know, he'll fucking boot up the ride again, dude. He'll just two more seats. That's no problem, you know. That is not at all what happened, right? He He only tells us to get off like twice. We disregard him and he gets off, right? And up comes some little fucking Paul Blart looking ass chubby motherfucker mall cop to get us off the ride. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he comes up and he's like, you guys got to get off the ride. So at this point, you know, we get up and I'm like, okay, well, they're just going to get us off the ride, right? But no, we get off the ride and we're walking down and this fucking fat motherfucker this piece of i me and a- as soon as he started escorting us out of the whole carnival me and ashton just started fucking ripping this guy's life apart bro roasting him because when i used to go to this carnival wasted with my friends and was there security yes but they were never pricks like this they were never like this you know so once this guy starts walking me out i'm like what like i'm sitting there and i'm like what the fuck like we're getting kicked out for that like we can't like like, we're literally getting escorted off the premises and shit. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And Ash is just like, bro, honestly, you're fucking, you're just ugly as shit. He's just talking mad shit. He's like, bro, your fucking hairline's fucked, all this shit. You're wide body as hell. Why you built like fucking Humphrey, dude? Why you, why you built like that? You know, he's just baking his, he's just ruining this guy, dude. And I join in, too. I'm, at this point, I'm pissed. I'm like, well, if he's baking him, I'm baking him, dude. So we're both just simultaneously just talking so much shit about about this fucking guy and he's upset he's not having it but we get out to the parking lot and i call up ashley and i explain to her i'm like we just got kicked out and she thinks like she starts laughing on the phone she thinks we're joking and i'm like no i'm serious like we just got escorted out we tried to ride the fucking spinny thing again uh two times in a row and we got fucking kicked out for that <laughs> which it was unbelievable that we actually got escorted out of the carnival for like that i feel like that was such a minor thing like sure we ignored the dude we might have been kind of dicks about it he did ask like three or four times whatever bro you know it is what it is we shouldn't have been kicked out but hey Ashley came out, she whipped us around, you know, we got back in her car, and we chilled for a little bit, we ended up going back to her house, and I smoked her out a little bit, and then she drove Ashton and myself home, and I Ubered back to her house the next day, while she was still asleep to grab my car, because I didn't want to wait for her to wake up, I just needed my car, so I Ubered back, but hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video, it was a slapper, thank you all for tuning in, I appreciate you guys, I'll see you guys in the next one, hey, peace out my gamers.